All right, let's stretch ourselves a bit further in triple integration. For this example, we're going to calculate, uh, well, set up the integrals to calculate the mass of a solid region. And it's bounded by the sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 8. That sphere has a radius, square root of 8. But additional condition such that z is greater than or equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, which we have just found out is a cone. And the given density function is rho of x, y, z is some constant k multiplied by the quantity x squared plus y squared plus z plus 1. So before we we even think thoughts about integrating, this question is really about how would we even begin to set it up. So let's look first at the sphere. All right, so I'm gonna draw a circle and give it a nice belt. All right to give the impression that it's three-dimensional. Z-axis, X-axis, Y-axis. And the radius of this sphere is square root of eight, which is just a little less than three units. But within this sphere, we're going to look at the cone, and the cone's vertex would be at the origin. And let me see if I can just sort of uh, get the impression of what this looks like. I'm going to twist the paper here. So we are looking at the cone plus a little portion of the sphere that is on top of the cone. This is our region. So before we go into setting up the integral, I want you to note that the cone itself here has a smaller radius than the sphere. All right, so the, the um, top view The radius is less than the square root of 8. So I wonder what that radius is actually. I can see that it's smaller than the sphere. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the intersection of the sphere and the cone. All right, so we'll look at the intersection. Um, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 8. And z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. This is x squared plus y squared plus another x squared plus y squared. That equals 8. 2x squared plus 2y squared is 8. Here we go. Finally, there we go. Radius equals 2 for this circle. Radius is 2. So what that means for us is that we would be considering our top view to be a circle of radius two units, which we can set up in both rectangular and a polar form, depending on what is asked of us, okay? So we need this visualization um, in order to 
properly set up our triple integral. So let's get to it. All right. You see those images there. So to calculate mass, uh, we're going to put the density function as the function within the integral. And that was k multiplied x squared plus y squared plus z plus 1 dz dy dx. And for our z equals boundaries, the cone is the lower boundary and the sphere is the uh, farther out or the upper boundary. So the cone, we already have its equation. All right, so Z here is cone to sphere. The sphere we need to solve for z equals 8 minus x squared minus y squared. And we, of course, only need the positive root because we're looking at the upper portion of the sphere, not the lower portion of the sphere. So that will go right here. 8 minus x squared minus y squared. Our y and x boundaries are now based on that top view, that circle of radius 2, where x goes from negative 2 to positive 2. And the y values are from the bottom part of the circle to the top part of the circle. y is equal to the positive and negative square root of 4 minus x squared. I'm not slowing down here because we played with a circle a lot recently. Negative square root four minus x squared to positive square root four minus x squared. Now you should know that integrating this is not going to be a pleasure necessarily. It might be rather difficult to integrate. Um, probably can be done within techniques in uh, second semester calculus, but you should also know that if you went straight to a computer, computers are not uh, perfect. And if the regions have too many undefined values within them um, as you're uh, uh, going left to right with these and up and down with these boundaries, even the computer may struggle with something like this. So what if we converted to cylindrical coordinates. What if we took the mess that is our uh, integration here to three, and we look at this as theta and R and Z, and we should already be able to know that theta is going to be from 0 to 2 pi based on the numerous previous examples that we've already covered, and the radius is from 0 to 2. Now those constants will look much better in the integral calculation than, um, than what we had before, and Z goes from square root of x squared plus y squared square root of r squared, which earlier I told you you can just say is r because r values are already positive in this calculation. And the sphere, 8 minus x squared minus y squared, and the root, that's square root of 8 minus r squared. And so I go from r to square root 8 minus r squared. Furthermore, our density function has quantity x squared plus y squared, which is r squared, 
z remains z and one is just a constant dz dr d theta but because we're converting x and y to polar we need the other factor of r in there and so we could either distribute the r now or i, I like to show it separately so you know that i've done it separately so there you have it rectangular and a cylindrical form for the mass of that region with the given density function. Now, before I close down this video, I'm gonna just note to my own students, you need to make certain that you have listed out um, from our textbook, the first moments about the XY plane, YZ plane, and XZ plane. These are moments related to finding the center of mass they're not too difficult, and they're very similar to our two-dimensional examples. And also look up the and write down the moments of inertia about the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. Make sure you have these in your notes. Keep things organized. If there's anything we're trying to learn right now is how to better organize things. Hit the pause button, write it down, explain it again, rewrite it if it's messier. All right, till next time.